Welcome back everybody to another episode of the GC Informer. I am Snowy, otherwise known as Count Fracula, back from my little post E3 break with uh, with some news. One of them is going to make it a little bit salty, I'm going to warn you in advance, but we'll start with a positive one at least. Disney and Nintendo are teaming up to make a game show for reasons of reasons. I don't know why, but you know, this is going to be a thing. It'll be quite fun. It'll be on Disney XD. That's one of the Disney channels. And um, basically, the concept is teams of contestants play Switch games to win prizes. That That's quite a good little potential. Actually, I quite like that. There was actually a show... It, it was on last year and the year before on uh, Dave, a TV channel here. It's called uh, Go 8-Bit. And that was basically a more adult themed version of sort of video game challenges and it had loads of different consoles, loads of different games, loads of different challenges. It was quite an interesting little show. Don't know if it's still going on, I've not really paid attention, but regardless, this reminds me very much of that and it's more aimed, obviously, at children and it is exclusively Nintendo Switch stuff. But uh, yeah, really nice little inter interesting idea. Uh, we don't know when it's going to happen. But what we do know is that we have a couple of the sort of ideas for challenges that they've come up with so far, which include hunting for collectibles in Mario Odyssey. I'm assuming it'd be either against a time limit or having them face off against each other to see who gets it first. Head-to-head uh, -head games in Mario Aces, that would be pretty damn fun. And of course, of course, of course, Dance-offs in Just Dance 2018 or 2019 or whatever current version of the game it is. So yeah, you know, I might not, I'm probably not going to watch that. That's a bit sort of aimed at the younger audience, not quite for me, but video games are getting more mainstream. They're getting more mainstream attention and this is positive mainstream attention, so I'm happy about that. Here comes the salt and uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Call of Duty, Activision, Blizzard, and all of the shitty things that Activision have done. Because they're still going with this utter bullshit. We know already that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 won't be a properly complete game because it won't have a single player campaign. However, it's, it's worse than we originally thought it was because now, if you buy the standard edition of the game, you're not getting all the content, not by a long shot because a lot of this content is hidden behind a season pass. This is nothing new, of course, you know, a season pass is just sort of standard fare by now for the uh, for the big AAA games, unfortunately. But, um, but it gets worse because this season pass is currently not available for sale with just a normal edition of Call of Duty. You can't just buy that and the season pass. You can only buy an alter, uh, it's like sort of the deluxe ultimate edition, and that includes the season pass. They said the season pass will be up for sale later on at some point. However, the stuff in this season pass isn't just like a few maps. It isn't. It's it's a load of modes, like there's special battle royale modes, special battle royale skins, and another zombie mode as well. It's basically a good chunk, like probably about a third of the game, is just going to be in that season pass that you can't just buy it on its own after the game launches you have to buy it with the collector's edition for now god it's it's um yeah that's that's an egregious season pass that is some really egregious business practice shit there activision that's not good at all and of course I'm not going to show any Call of Duty footage because, you know, Activision claim everything that they put on there. So, fuck you. <laughs> not getting, not monetizing this like you managed to monetize. I think it was the Sony conference. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Oh, God. It just depresses me when, when they do this. And because it's Call of Duty, people put up with it. <sighs> oh, well. I'm not, I wasn't going to buy it anyway, but people will. People will spend more money than they need to. They have to spend at least $100 to actually get the whole game, rather than 
you know, 60 just to get the full experience. And that brings us to the end of another episode of the GC Informer and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider liking, subscribing and sharing to this channel. And we have content coming out all the time including news, reviews, let's plays and podcasts. It's all fun stuff. And uh, I will see you soon for more news. <laughs>